Now, once you understand how you can create and set up the React application using CDN, let me show you how you can use NPM to install all these packages and create the Next.js application. So what you have to do is you have to open your terminal and you have to enter into your project directory. So I'm going to say CD next course and then I'm going to execute a command called npm init hyphen y. This command is going to initialize this folder as npm package. When I press enter, I'm going to have the package.json file which initialize this folder as node module package. Let me clear the screen and then I'm going to execute a command npm i for install and then I'm going to install react react dome and next i'm going to install all these three packages inside this application so i'm going to press enter here this is going to install all these packages inside a node modules folder so you can see we have here a folder called node modules and inside that we have all these three packages let me clear the screen and then let me close this terminal now if we just take a look at this index.html then you can notice to add a react component we need to add both these modules and to transpile the JS6 code into JavaScript, we use Babel here. If you are using Next.js, you don't have to worry about Babel. You don't have to worry about transpiling your code into JavaScript. So let me just remove your code from this index.html file. Let me set up the Next.js application using NPM. I'm going to remove all these three packages. Now, just out of that, we also don't need this app component because Next.js will automatically import all your component inside a div. So I'm going to get rid of this division tag like this and this statement, this react dom render statement. Now we only have the J6 code remaining. So instead of having this boilerplate code inside this index.html, I'm going to remove that right from here. And I'm also going to remove this script tag. Now we only have the J6 code. What I have to do is I have to convert the file name. So instead of index.html, I'm going to just rename this file to index.js. Or you can specify the file name j6 as well. And if you're using TypeScript, you can specify TypeScript file name as well. I'm using JavaScript. So I'm going to say here index.js. Right now, you're looking at the JavaScript code, right? Now, what you have to do is, as I said, you don't need this app component. So let me get rid of this statement. Now, there are three more things you need to do to fully transition to the Next.js application. We have to move this index.html file in the new folder called pages. Next.js will automatically identify this file if this file is in the pages folder. So let's create a folder inside this next course. We need to specify folder name pages. Make sure the name is exactly the same. We have the pages folder. And inside that, we need to move this index.html file. So I'm going to grab this and move that inside this pages folder. Something like this. So now we have this index file inside this pages. Now, because Next.js use pages folder as a route path, we need to put all the components files inside the pages folder. Later, we will look at how we can use this pages folder in more detail. Just out of that, you have to add a default export to your main React component to help Next.js distinguish which component to render as a main component of this page so here you have to add export default so this is the default export from this file so we pass here export default function home page just for that let me save these changes and now you can see inside this code we don't need to add here react use state instead directly import a file at the top here I can specify import use state from react and instead of this react.use state I can just simply specify here use state something like this just out of that I'm going to save all these changes back to the package.json and here I'm going to get rid of this test command and then in the double code I'm going to say dev the development command and then I'm going to specify next dev Save these changes, open the terminal, and here you have to execute this dev command. To execute it, you have to specify npm run dev. When you press enter, this is going to start the local server. You can see, we have here a message called started server on 3000 port, and this is the URL of your server. You have to just click on this link. When you click on it, 
this is going to open the localhost 3000 and you're going to have your first Next.js app. When you click on the likes, it will increase the like counter like this. And if you notice inside this console, you will get all the console messages. Now, whenever you save your file, Next.js will automatically recompile your project. So if I remove this counter from this H1 heading tag and save these changes, and if I back to my browser, you can notice the browser automatically updates to reflect the changes. This feature is called Pass Refresh. That's it. You successfully created your first Next.js application. Next, I'm going to show you how you can create the Next.js app using command line interface. 